Uh, hello, my name is uh, Emily Ouma. I'm an agricultural economist. I work for ILRI. I'm based in Uganda. And in Uganda, we do a lot of work on the pig value chain. And s simply because uh, the pig sector is rapidly becoming an important sector in Uganda. The demand for pork is rising. So we see several opportunities uh, for smallholder pig farmers as well as other value chain access to benefit to tap into this opportunity. We've carried out uh, pig value chain assessments as part of livestock and fish uh, CGIR research program to identify constraints and opportunities in the pig value chain. In Uganda, uh, smallholders are the majority um, are players in the pig value chain. And uh, women play a very important role, especially in the production node of the value chain. They take care of the pigs, um, they source for feeds, they source for water for their pigs, they care for the pigs when the pigs are sick, and they also uh, clean uh, the pigs' ties. Now, when we come to the marketing uh, nodes of the value chain and even slaughter and processing, um, we see that women are no longer involved and men seem to be uh, becoming more visible uh, post-production node of the value chain. Now, our interest in this value chain is to find ways in which uh, women can get more involved in the post-production nodes of the value chain and also find out if they are benefiting from uh, the benefits that come from um, the post-production nodes of the value chain. We are pilot testing an intervention uh, that we call pig business hubs and these uh, are simply ways of bringing together or integrating farmers with other service providers so that uh, they can carry out uh, piggery as a business. So our interest is to find out whether uh, women are participating in these pig business hubs and if they're benefiting from the, pig, uh, from the benefits that are derived from the pig business hubs. So what we've done is to carry out some uh, uh, study to assess the types of uh, issues, or factors that influence participation of both men and women in the pig business hub and to also assess some of the factors that influence um, if they would derive benefits um, from the pig business hub uh, intervention that we are pilot testing. So far the results uh, reveal that uh, the hubs associated with feeds are okay, they're open space for both men and women. However, the hubs uh, around markets seem to be rather contentious because um, men seem to dominate and have a lot of power in terms of use of the benefits from, uh, from the enterprise. And this is largely because of some of the cultural beliefs, cultural norms, that uh, somehow elevate men, they seem to, to have power and it is known and women even accept it. They say that uh, in order to maintain respect at home, for instance, then they would rather have uh, men uh, make decisions as regards the benefits from the enterprise. So what that means for us, therefore, is that even as we are pilot testing some of these interventions, we need to be gender aware we need to think about um, the outcomes in terms of the benefits that uh, these interventions translate for men and women. So for the Pig Business Hub, uh, we are now considering involving other partners who have capacities in implementing uh, interventions that promote mindset change so that men can, can open more space for women to get some entitlements from uh, the benefits of some of these interventions.